Another day in a row with temperatures in the middle 40s, which is above average this time of year, feeling a lot more like November rather than early December, which is only a couple week difference, but that can make a lot of difference in the temperature and that our average temperatures usually drop off a ton heading into December. So 45 for a high temperature today, which is a lot more like November 20th. That's when we usually see that average high temperature. Average for today's date is 37, so that's a good 8 degree difference even just over a couple weeks. So usually we're in the middle 30s. So the middle 40s, nearly 10 degrees above average, feeling a lot more like last month. And we'll stay on this mild trend until we get to next week. Right now, temperatures still somewhat mild, holding on to the 40s in Roscoe and Rockford as of right now. Middle 30s across the rest of the state line, so a little above freezing. So if you still have to go out this evening, it'll look for a mild start to the evening, and then eventually we cool off back down into the upper 20s. 28 for tonight, a little chilly across the state line yet again under a partly cloudy sky. What may help, though, is the calm winds. We will see much quieter conditions tonight. Last couple nights and days have been rather breezy. Uh, without the wind, it may feel a little warmer because there isn't much for wind chill impact. Uh, so 44 coming for tomorrow, similar to today, but tomorrow may feel warmer as a result of that very calm wind. However, we won't see as much sunshine, partly to mostly cloudy weather expected going into tomorrow afternoon, which does eliminate the warming effect of that sunshine across the area. And the reason why we're seeing some cloud cover is another weather system working in. This is uh, currently near the Pacific Northwest. That'll bring in a cold front, which arrives on Friday. That does drop our temperatures, but may not drop them a ton. Here's future track, and as we go throughout the night, we'll see quiet and clear weather. We get into tomorrow morning. That area of low pressure does kick up some cloud covers. That's why we are going to see an increase in clouds tomorrow, but any kind of shower activity that stays well off to our north. We'll have another dry day, but it does look a little on the gloomier end. We get into Thursday night. That's when the low pressure is departing of we'll sinking air behind that high pressure comes in between the two. The result is the clouds clear out. You can see how bright and sunny it'll be by the time we get to Friday, but temperatures are dropping behind this cold front uh, right back to average. So we don't fall off that much. Uh, we'll be down uh, to around the middle 30s, which again is right near average for this time of year. And we rebound quickly, maybe 10 degrees above average again or more than that by the time we get to Sunday. Next week, however, a much stronger wave of cold air arrives, where by Wednesday we could be 20 degrees below average. Uh, here is an outlook on that blast of cold air coming. It starts to move in by Tuesday and then is fully entrenched in the area by Tuesday itself. That's why we're down into the 20s. The worst of the cold air hovers ahead by Wednesday. You can see that uh, very deep purple color. That is the heart of that Arctic air that sits on top of us for Wednesday. And then it starts to retreat from there, so we'll slowly warm up after that. We may see the mild conditions again by the time we get to next weekend, but much of next week feeling extra chilly across the state line. Leading up to that point, temperatures back and forth between the middle 30s and middle 40s. We get into next week 15 for a high on Wednesday. Right before that, may see a rain-snow mix between Monday and Tuesday as that cold air starts to work its way on in. James and Kristen. No escaping it, Alex. Thanks.